Hi guys, Jerry Anderson here with Espose and welcome to the video tutorials for Espose.Total for .NET. Well, this is first of the two tutorials that will show you how to use Espose.Total for .NET with ASP.NET with MVC. And today, I'll give you a quick overview of the demo website that we're basing the tutorials on and then show you how to generate barcodes. Whereas in the second tutorial, we'll explain how to create documents from the scratch. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll build our demo on top of the MVC Music Store demo. And in this video, I'll show you how to generate barcodes for the albums in the MVC Music Store. So let's uh, get started with a quick overview of the demo website. MVC Music Store is actually a demo website for learning ASP.NET MVC. And you can uh, download it from ASP.NET slash MVC. So we'll add a suppose.total for .NET features to the demo website. So in pop, you can click on Frank. And here we can browse a genres and see a particular album's details. And in this video, we'll add some new features along with the album details. We'll add barcode for each album here. And we'll also add buttons here to export album data to different file formats. But first, create folders to save barcodes and other files to expand content and images. So from the project menu, select New Folder and rename this folder as Barcodes. The Barcodes folder will hold barcode images for all the albums. Now create another new folder and call it Temp Files. And this folder will store temporary files created by the exposed components we're using. Now we need to apply a license file. For that, right-click the bin folder and select Add Existing Items. Now locate the license file. In my case, it's in the C drive and the path would be Data slash License Folder. Now select All Files and now we can uh, see the exposed.total.license file. Now select the license file and click Add. Now add the license file as an embedded resource. On the View menu, select Properties, and the Properties windows opens on the right. Now select the Embedded Resource option as your uh, Build action. Next, we'll add reference to various exposed components. So, right-click the bin folder and select Add Reference. Now click a Browse tab and browse to the C drive program files where the bin folder is located. And here you need to select the expose.barcode.dll and then click OK. Now you can uh, see that the expose.barcode.dll in the bin folder. For this tutorial series, we'll add expose.barcode.dll expose.cells.dll, expose.pdf.dll, expose.slides.dll, and expose.words.dll. We'll only use uh, the expose.barcode.dll in this tutorial and we'll use the rest in the next one. And we can also add references to the other expose components in the same way. Now set the expose license as a global.asax and then expand global.asax then open the global.asax.cs class and then write the code that applies the expose licenses. You need to apply each component's license separately and this is what the code looks like. Now add a new model for a file manipulation. So add a new class named as file manager and then import the exposed namespaces. You can import any other namespaces if you want to. 
Now write the code that specifies the path to the barcodes folder. and then add the code for generating barcodes for the albums. Let's uh, now modify the details action of the store controller to generate barcodes. So open the sto uh, store controller class and write the following code to generate a barcode image and add barcode image path to the view data object for a later use. Now modify the details view to show the barcode image. We'll uh, add the barcode image after the price. And this tag adds the newly generated barcode to the page. Now let's rebuild the project. So in pop, select Frank to see the barcode we have added. And you can see that the newly generated barcode is added along with the album details. So guys, uh, that's the end of the first of the tutorials in this series where we have looked at the demo website and generated new barcodes.